What's up guys, welcome to Apex. Thanks for tuning in. We have got a brand new version of Wonderland application from Goodlog, which is now available to download. And this was shared by one of the X users, which was later shared by Tarun Watts on X. And the same APK, I have installed it on the Galaxy S24 Ultra, which you see on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, I've got the Galaxy S25 Ultra running on One UI 8 with the latest version of Wonderland. Now the thing here is, both these versions are exactly the same in terms of version number. It's version number 1.6.1. 1.5 which is the same on the One UI 8 as well as on this latest APK we have and if you look at the change log it is exactly the same change log we have got in new section we have got blur effect added vertical and horizontal blur options for lock screen transition effects this was added some time ago on the latest version of this application and now we have got this brand new APK which comes with the same version number, same change log, but some changes in the interface. Let me go ahead and open up this application on both these devices. And the change here is in create your different lock screen effect section. Let me tap on that on both the devices. Now let me try to create a brand new lock screen effect here. I'll tap on plus button and here you go. You can see that interface difference here between these two versions. Like I said, both are same versions, but for some reason the newer APK has got this new interface. We have got some changes here at the bottom options. You can see we have got image settings and then we have effect type and effect settings on the new version. We just have three tabs. It looks simpler and cleaner. And on the uh, previous version, you can see we've got four tabs here, four buttons here or four icons here where we have got an option to select the image. The second one is to select the effect type. Third one is to select effect settings. And the fourth one is to download the wallpaper. Now let me tap on image settings here. On the new version, we can pick the wallpaper here. Let me just pick up one of the wallpapers from the gallery. Now, if you're interested in these beautiful looking wallpapers, we have it on our own wallpaper application, Wallverse. You can go ahead and download it. We keep adding some brand new wallpapers on the application every day. And uh, just today we have added a brand new category as well. That's called emojification. There are some beautiful emoji wallpapers, which are simple wallpapers with some uh, plain background. Added today so go ahead and check out the wallpaper and do not forget to uh, leave a rating for the wallpaper on the play store that motivates me to keep adding more and more wallpapers for you guys so go ahead check it out the link is in the description now let me pick up one of the wallpapers here and let me also pick up another wallpaper for the AOD. Now, uh, let me tap on close. Now let me do the same thing on the other phone as well. Let me pick up a wallpaper here and for one for the AOD as well and close. And now let me tap on effect type. There is no changes here. The new effects which Samsung added is also available on the older version as well as on the newer APK. Let me pick up one of the effects style here. And you can also change the effects setting here if you want. We have this icon on both the versions. You can change the speed, pixel size, etc. And this differs for different effects. And once done, you can see the difference in the download option here. On the older version, on the previous version, we have got download button right here at the bottom right corner and we have got save button on the bottom left on the newer version. Now these are the changes which we have on the newer version but otherwise the app remains the same. No other major changes here. Once done, just tap on finish and you are able to save this on the application itself and you can apply the effects. This is a wonderful application which gives us some amazing options to uh, add some animations and uh, transitions on the lock screen. If you're a customization lover, I think this is the application you need to check out. I have made multiple videos on these applications on my channel. If you want to check them out, I will leave some links in the description and you can also check out the channel for more customization options. And if you're interested in this icon pack here, this is not a third party icon pack. This is the default Samsung icons, which I have converted them to the dark icons. And if you are interested in knowing about how you can do this, I have done a step-by-step -step guide for uh, converting the application icon into dark icons. I have posted a video, I'll leave a link for that also. So in the description, you don't need a third party app. All you need is the latest version of Goodlock application in which you need theme park engine, theme park app on which you will be able to customize your app icons and convert them to dark looking icons. They look beautiful with some light uh, wallpapers and all these wallpapers are from Volvo's applications. So do go ahead and check out the Volvo's app as well. Check out the channel for some customization videos. And if you want to stay updated with everything that's happening with your device, then you must subscribe to the channel. Go ahead, subscribe and give this video a like if you find this video informative. Each like that you give for the video will take this video to many more people. So go ahead, hit the like button. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I'll see you in the next one soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.